My name is Frank DeVita. I'm currently 94 years old. I'm a fourth degree knight. On D-Day, I had just turned 19. So 70 years, I never talked about it. My wife died and she never knew what I went through. I was in the Coast Guard and I served for 27 months, USS Samuel Chase. At four o'clock in the morning, we started lowering our boats. We had 21 boats in the water and we headed towards the beach. It took us almost two hours. We got within maybe two or 300 yards from the beach. And the Germans had opened up with the 88s and their machine guns. Now my job was to drop the rim, but I froze for a few seconds because I didn't want to die. I knew those machine gun bullets would be coming into my boat. And the machine guns were hitting the rim, tar, 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 like a typewriter. I dropped the rim and the machine guns came into my boat. Killed probably 13 or 14 guys. Two, three guys got off my boat and headed towards the beach. And when they got the beach, to the beach, they were wiped out. And I got a lot of dead and wounded on the boat. And I, I'm responsible for these kids in the boat. So now we had to get the hell out of there. And we started heading towards my ship. I said, here I am on the ship. And, and I'm thinking to myself, I got my eyes, I got my arms, I got my legs, and I'm still alive. Do I go back? Do I go back into the belly of the beast? I said to myself, if I don't go back, somebody's gonna have to take my place. And if they're killed, I couldn't live with that for the rest of my life. I made 15 trips to the beach all together. So most of the kids on my, my watch 18, 19, 20 years old. They were too young to drink. They were too young to vote, but they weren't too young to die. At the end of the day, we had 2,000 dead on the beach. The first wave, we had 90, 95% casualties. We lost six boats in the first wave. It was machine gun bullets all around me, like a swarm of angry bees. Why one of them didn't hit me? Kill the guy next to me. Kill the guy next to me. Kill the guy in front of me. God was watching over me. People think I'm a hero. I'm not a hero. I'm a survivor. I didn't know what to do. I'm a religious person. I believe in God. I, pr I pray every morning and I pray every night. You leave war. War never leaves you. I decided I was going to join the Knights. It was the best decision I ever made. We help people. We feed the poor. We go to hospitals and talk to people. It's a giving organization. Yeah, I get a lot out of the Knights, but they give more than I can give. You get close to the other Knights, and they become your brothers. In the service, they were my brothers. In the Knights, they're my brothers. <laughs>